Like doctors at IU Methodist Hospital say the Indianapolis Motor Speedway safety crews likely saved the life of IndyCar driver James Hinchcliffe. Now Hinchcliffe suffered serious injuries in a fiery crash during practice yesterday. Our nightly reporter Jenny Ranovich says the care he got on the track made all the difference once he got to the operating room. Jenny? It did, Andrea. Speed was key to survival in this situation. Crews at the track, doctors here at IU Methodist Hospital, both prepare for this kind of trauma because with this type of injury, minutes can make the difference. At 200 miles an hour, this powerful crash nearly killed James Hinchcliffe. Part of the car pierced his body through his leg and out his hip. Team owner Sam Schmidt knew the injury was bad right away. Like a dagger, you know. Uh in his cheek and uh, a lot of arteries, a lot of blood vessels, all that stuff. So I think the main concern was just uh, the bleeding. Doctors say Hinch was losing a lot of blood. That's why speed of care was critical. Those paramedics you see were on the track within 30 seconds. They cut him out of the car and raced him to IU Methodist, talking with the hospital the whole time. They went by ground ambulance, not air. Doctors say it's actually faster that way in Indy. A four-mile straight shot to surgery in mere minutes. I know when I had an injury in Texas in 1999, it was a 30-minute 30, 30 you know, helicopter flight just to get to the hospital. And um, you have a situation like that, I think with those injuries yesterday, that could have been could have been a different outcome. You know, the number one priority is to get them to a trauma center. And that's really what we did. And we got him here quickly. Um, and that's how we save lives. At IU Methodist, a team of 20 surrounded Hinchcliffe and got to work. They still had to remove part of the car from his body. And we'll take him to the operating room, keep the tourniquet on, and then we'll remove the object. Then came surgery, which family says was very successful. Schmidt saw him in the hospital. He says speed of treatment gave his driver a chance to live and race again. Doctors this morning are, are very optimistic that you know, he'll make a full recovery, and uh, he knows he's got to see it when he comes back. Now, Hinchcliffe is now, we're told, in stable condition here at IU Methodist Hospital. He will not race in the Indy 500 this weekend, and IndyCar says he's out of the series for the foreseeable future. But he is expected to race again. At least Sam Schmidt believes that. Doctors do say that it will be a difficult recovery. This won't be easy as far as rehab's concerned. But again, he is expected to race again, his team owner believes, and he certainly has a lot of support. And Hinchcliffe thanks everyone for supporting him. He did that in a statement earlier today. Reporting live, Jenny Runovich, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.